One of the signs of tokenization industry maturing is the fact that now it is being used not only by innovative players and early stage startups, but even by most regulated institutions in the world, banks. In this video, I'll explain how you as a bank can leverage tokenization to achieve competitive advantage and what it would mean for a wider economy, investors and businesses. My friends, welcome you at Starbucks Insights, a video series about tokenization, crowdfunding and the future of finance. Let's go! If you will find this video insightful, please like it and share so that more people can find out about benefits of securities tokenization. Let's start from a brief reminder what is tokenization of securities. It is an innovative technology that transforms the way transactions are conducted with securities and thus makes relationships with investors and businesses more streamlined and efficient. Before speaking about actual business models, we have to discuss what are already existing strong sides of banks in order to find the place for synergies between new technologies and existing strengths. And there are four strong sides that banking industry possesses now. One is that they already have relationships with a broad base of clients and businesses who are using them for savings and loans. The strong side number two is the strong trust toward banks and their reputation as regulated institutions. The strong side number three is the fact that they have huge financial experience in risk management, in collateralization, in credit assessment and other complicated financial topics. And the strong side number four is the fact that banks already have experience in design and management of complicated IT solutions for financial industry that take into account the strong regulation of banking industry. Based on this, we have identified three business models that allow banks to leverage their existing competitive advantage in the tokenization industry. The business model number one is asset management. Actually, investment banks already provide asset management services. However, they are open only to high-rich individuals who possess millions or even tens of millions in assets. Meanwhile, most people, retail clients, have access only to bank deposits. However, given extremely low interest rates, most people are drawn to other saving solutions, such as apps that provide automated investment, etc. In order to survive the competition, banks have to offer alternative saving solution to their clients and the solution is tokenized fund managed by professional asset managers and risk managers that already exist inside the banking institutions banks already have many clients interested in savings and they have professional asset managers and risk managers what they need is glue an intermediary technology that would allow asset managers to provide services not only to a few people but to a broad array of clients and tokenized investment funds with easy investor onboarding that tokenization can provide is precisely what can allow banks to offer this new service and high returns to investor and therefore survive in the low interest rate environment. Second business model deals with another arm of commercial banking activity, which is providing capital financing to businesses. The competitor to banks in this field are crowdfunding platform, crowd lending platform, P2P lending platform, equity crowdfunding, etc., where businesses can often get better financing terms that they could have otherwise in banks. However, the big problem of such institutions is trust. Most people lack experience in assessing the creditworthiness of businesses they are investing in and understanding whether they can provide good enough returns. As a bank, you have trust and you have experienced financial managers who can provide much better credit score to the businesses and assess whether they are able to actually repay their debt. 
Therefore, bank as an operator of crowdfunding or crowdlending platform can be a gatekeeper, assign values, ranking and score to businesses raising capital on such platform and thus provide investors with more certainty in terms of their investment and allow them to make better informed decisions, which is something that conventional crowdfunding platforms cannot provide. Business model number three is operating an enterprise blockchain targeted at financial institutions. Many asset managers, institutional investors and other financial institutions are looking into tokenization to improve their back office processes, reduce cost, provide better service to their accredited and retail clients. However, the problem is that they don't trust public solutions given their limited privacy and lack of control. As a bank, you already have experience in managing complex IT solutions for regulated financial industry, which means that as a bank, you are the best candidate for managing a regulated private blockchain for financial enterprises. The last question is, what would be the impact of banks adopted mechanization for a broader economy? The answer to this question is simple. It is the same with all other applications of tokenization. Better access to capital for businesses and better access to saving and investment opportunities for all of us. I hope you found this video insightful. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Tell me in the comment your thoughts on application of tokenization in the banking industry. Stay tuned and see you in the next episode.